Hi, Paul here with Dive Dynamics, and today we're talking about fans in LED bulbs. Now, the new SL2 Pro from Dive Dynamics has basically the newest technology out there, and we've actually put a really small micro fan directly in the top of the bulb. But why is that so important? Well, with any LED, as soon as we're running these at high power, they're gonna generate a lot of heat. So the entire bulb design is really based around how do we get that heat out without making it all way too big. With the SL1 bulb, we accomplish that by keeping a really small profile where the LED sits. We have a solid copper to get that thermal energy down to the base, where then we have this small fan directly in the bottom. And of course, we use the highest quality materials and the technology available at the time when this bulb was developed. That includes a bearingless fan there, and it performs very well. But the challenge here, and a lot of other products that use a fan in the base like this, is that we have to move the thermal energy from the LEDs to the base. Now, there's been some interesting innovations in this. There's some bulbs that feature heat pipes versus copper circuit boards. But in any case, getting that heat down to the bottom creates a whole bottleneck in the process to where you can actually get the thermal energy out. And that is hugely resolved with the new SL2 Pro. By putting this fan directly in the top, even though this is small, it pushes a lot of air, and importantly, it's cooling directly next to the heat source. By avoiding the entire bottleneck through the actual bulb itself, we're able to actually cool at the point of heat generation. And that means much more efficiency. So even though this fan looks a lot smaller, it really packs a punch in terms of dissipating that thermal energy. And of course, there's many other benefits to that as well. The big one being this fan is completely sealed inside the housing, so we don't risk any sort of moisture, uh, dirt, dust buildup in that fan that's external to the bulb. But again, it's located in the top, still fitting without any issue. Finally, one ancillary benefit of that is that the thermal energy stays inside of the headlamp housing. Now, while that's not gonna necessarily melt your snow and ice, it doesn't hurt, and on a cold day, it might help a little bit by keeping that heat inside your headlamp housing. In general, though, this is a huge upgrade in the way LED bulbs are cooled because we've avoided the huge bottleneck and we can keep it all sealed inside the headlamp. If you have any other questions about how cooling works in relation to LED bulbs, what sort of fans are out there, there's a lot of different technology and we're always happy to discuss it when it comes to tech questions. For now, thanks for watching and learning a little bit more about the technology in the new SL2 Pro.